I'm Kevin Coolidge, and I'm the creator of the Totally Ninja Raccoons. It's a children's series that I wrote specifically geared for reluctant readers from the second to fourth grade. They're all set right here locally in Tyler County in Pennsylvania. When I was writing them, this, this comes from my experience of working in the bookstore at McCollin or for my shelf books. I've been doing that for over a decade. I specifically picked like that age, the seven to 10 age, because it's that age that if a child doesn't really embrace reading, that you know, they really start to fall behind their peers. So I really wanted to do like a fun reading that spoke to that age bracket. So I you know I, ninjas, I mean, I still like, I like ninjas when I was that age. I still like ninjas. And then who doesn't like raccoons? This is chapter one called Totally Ninja. A furry head pops up from a trash can with a lid tilted on his head like a hat. It's a raccoon, and he's holding a box of Chinese takeout. Someone ate all the pork out of the pork fried rice, and there aren't any chopsticks, says Kevin. Actually, I, I had the idea a long time ago, and then it got put in the back burner, and I got busy with life. Nickelodeon was looking for an animated TV series, and they wanted it as a script, so I wrote the first basically the origin story of the Ninja Raccoons, sent that out to um, Nickelodeon. No, they eventually passed on that, but I loved the idea so much and I had so much fun with it that I just kept going with it. The whole idea behind it is that raccoons, they already have masks. No, they're thieves, they go through your trash cans, you know, come out in the morning and like, you see your trash is all tore up. So one of the underlying themes of the, of the book is, in the book series is that you get to choose what you want to be. Does anybody here know how you become a ninja? Practice, practice, that's good. You choose to become a ninja. You can choose to be anything you want. Okay? You can choose to be a doctor, or a ninja, or a fireman. You can, choose to, you can also choose to be happy. So part of it is, is an empowering thing of becoming something better that you are, but at the same time, it's fun. So there's raccoons, there's ninjas. Um, each one has a cryptid, which is an animal that hasn't been identified by modern day science. The first in the series is a totally ninja raccoons meet Bigfoot. They're all set here in Tyler County and Wellsboro because when I was growing up, I really liked reading about an area that I was familiar with. I'm like, oh wow, this is like, this takes place in, in Denver and I had been to Denver, Colorado. It makes it more real. So even though they're talking raccoons and there's cats, um, it's all set right here in Wellsboro, so it gives it a verisimilitude, which basically means it gives it a, a more of a reality to it. So I wrote my first book actually back in 2007 called Hobo Finds a Home, which was about our bookstore cat Hobo. Now, I wrote columns, I had wrote short stories, some shorter pieces, so I wrote the children's book and it did really well. How an idea comes into play and, and you know, it can be there for a long time, but like once I started writing them, they just they just took off. They just started writing themselves. I had so much fun with the first one that I had ideas for the second one and I went to the third one and I have I now have five books out in the series and then the sixth one is actually coming out and that's the uh, Totally Ninja Raccoons and the Secret of, of Nesmic Lake. I, I sell my books locally here at For My Shelf Books and Gifts and uh, I'll just keep them in stock but you know, with the modern age you can get them anywhere the books are sold so you can order them online like through our, through our website wellsboroughbookstore.com if you want a signed and personalized copy. You know, meeting an author and having a personalized copy can really make a big difference when you're a kid. Get out of my garbage you stinking thieves yells a fat hairy man holding a broom. <laughs> With a crash, Bandit's trash can topples over and he dashes out, running for the safety of the dark. One of the things about writing is it's the hardest part is starting and then keeping going. So like one of the best pieces of advice I had from an author was just finish something. So my goal was to finish it. And what, what do you do once you finish it? Well, you know, at least you're really lucky or if you know in the writing industry you want, you want to find an agent. I look for an agent. You get a lot of no's. It was the summer of 2015 where I, I, I submitted agents and I just kept writing because you know, most of the time like when I was researching it, they want to know what else, that you're, what else that you're writing. And so I, I kept going and I actually had an agent that was really interested, but ultimately he ended up saying it was too much like another project that uh, a client had. So I decided I was just going to publish it myself and actually what I did is I formed my own publishing house, which is for my shelf books and gifts. Since I was going to do it myself, I'm going to do it exactly how I want it. So I really made it local. You know, I was like, I'm going to make these local. You know, they're going to be for Tyler County in Pennsylvania. And if they go bigger, that's great. If not, I know they're going to take off here. 
I actually use Ingram Spark, which is a subsidiary of like one of the biggest wholesalers out there. We, we use Ingram at the bookstore. That's why now like if a bookstore wants to order them, they can just go and order them right from Ingram. So that, that way they're accessible to, to everybody. I mean, sure they're available for my shelf books and gifts. And if you're in Wellsboro, I really encourage you to come there. Now they're even available overseas. I'm actually selling some of the Ninja Raccoons in, in the UK, in Great Britain, which is really great. But I have no idea why they're selling in the UK. To see that and to get like a royalty check from, you know, from a UK sale is like really, is really fun to be able to do that. What's a ninja, says Rascal. A ninja is a highly trained in martial arts and stealth. Ninjas hire themselves out for secret missions, says Bandit. Do ninjas eat General's house chicken, asks Kevin? A ninja eats whatever he wants, replies Bandit. <laughs> <laughs>